won the Pep Boys Indy Racing League title in 1997. Here is a battle between Earnhardt and Irwin for the fifth position. And Tony Stewart gets the white. One more lap to go. Stewart has a lot of traffic ahead of him, but I don't think it's going to be a factor in the race. They come down the back stretch. Bobby Labonte is still about five or six car lengths behind him. Here comes Tony Stewart off the corner. And in his 25th NASCAR Winston Cup race, Tony Stewart wins at Richmond International Raceway. Becomes the first rookie in Winston Cup racing to win since Davey Allison at Dover. Under their seats, they have lined the fence to see what happens in these final two laps. Well, this is a, an ingredient for a disaster. And guys, don't forget, I know we only got two laps to go, but that car in fourth place, that yellow car, Steve Park, remember, he has a little fresher tire than anybody, and he was fast. I don't know if he was as fast as Tony Stewart, but he was definitely better than Rusty Wallace that's right in front of him. Yeah, he might be able to get by Rusty, but I don't believe he can get by the all the way to the front, unless right. these guys really get crazy down here. Stewart easing it, bringing them slow off turn four, and now he's on the gas, and we've got just and two Gordon, laps to Gordon's go. got a terrible restart. I believe he spun the tires when he took off. Rusty Wallace pulled to the inside that two car Steve Park coming he carried them all the way up oh, the right oh there God. wrecking down the front they stay green Todd Bodine got spun but we keep going Hard. we're under green with one lap to go and they come back look at Rusty all over the rear bumper of that 24 car Gordon got such a terrible restart and it uh, really cost him a shot at getting up there and getting after Stewart last lap there's a park right there got a shot at getting under Rusty off of two over here can't quite make it happen. Car spinning down the back straightaway. No matter. Checkered flag in the win. Tony Stewart, 10th career victory, first of the season. That was Elliot Sadler spinning down the back stretch as a lot of wild things happened in the last two laps. Well, that's basically what that's all about. When you stop them over there and get them lined up like that for a shootout, uh, that's a, just kind of a preview of the next week's race, Winston coming up. Tony Stewart's first win came here at Richmond in September 99. In his last three races, a win, a fourth, and a second. This is Rusty Wallace. He's pointed Jeff Gordon. They've been side by side ever since they checked the checkered flag, having a little conversation with each other. Good job. Good job. Short tracks, short sprint to the finish, equals short tempers. Yes, it does. And, of course, what happened there, again, Gordon didn't take off. He uh, Tony Stewart has only started seven races at Richmond International Speedway, and he's about to go to victory lane for the third time here. He won at Atlanta, and if he rounds turns three and four, he'll score his second victory of 2002. Tony Stewart's Home Depot Pontiac wins the Pontiac Excitement 400. Ryan Newman second, Jeff Burton third, teammate Mark Martin in fourth, Jeremy Mayfield fits, he finishes fifth, Matt Kinsey sixth, Jeff Gordon seventh, Steve Grissom eighth, Ricky Craven ninth, and Jimmy Spencer comes home ten. Brendan Gaughan and Bobby Hamilton at they're trying to get up front, but up in front, it is Tony Stewart leading Robert Presley with one lap to go. Three quarters of a mile here at Richmond International Raceway. Drive it down to the bottom, Robert. That's the only place you can go. Tony's up high. Tony Stewart looking to repeat here at Richmond. He's only run three Craftsman Truck Series races. This will be his second win if he can hold off Robert Presley. Coming out of turn number four, Tony Stewart wins the Virginians. For Love 200. Look at that battle. Bobby Hamilton. Oh, he wrecks Brendan going on the last turn. They came across the checker, but he got into Brendan big time. Yeah, he, he absolutely turned him. There was no question about that. I don't know what. Obviously, Bobby must not have been happy about something, but he, he without a doubt, turned Brendan into the wall there and wiped out his truck after the checkered flag. That, that was definitely with no question. Tony Stewart claims his second NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series win in three starts. Great percentage for our 2002 Winston Cup points champion.